Thank you very much, Chairman. This is a good uh, review. Now, as we uh, focus on uh, raising up and trusting God for healthy pastors to shepherd healthy churches. Now, as part of our program tonight, uh, we come to this uh, uh, part now. Uh, just a little uh, short ceremony of the changing of the guards sa Topic Commission or Topic Philippines. I was 53 years old when I took over the leadership ng Topic. 53 years old. May buhok pa ako noon. Makapal pa ang buhok noon. And may itim pa ang buhok noon. When I reached 65 years old, nagumpisa na akong mag-isip. Sabi ko, kailan may pumalit na sa akin? Kasi panay na ang tanong ng wife ko, kailan ka magre-retire? So I started to share with the topic executive then. Na sabi ko kailan mag-step down ako. Kailan may pumalit na sa akin. And uh, from time to time as we meet once a month, no, I would ask them no who among them would be willing to uh, carry on the task. Walang may gusto eh. Walang may gusto. So every year sinasabi ko 'yon. Palaging na de defer Finally, no, uh, 2016, when I reached 70, sabi ko, this is the time. 70 na ako. Dahil tinanong na naman ako ng misis ko, kailan ka magre-retire. So November, to, uh, f I think November 1 or latter part of November 2016, I sent a letter to Bishop Noel Panto. I said, I am stepping down and effective on this day. So, tinanggap niya naman yun. Few months after, pagpasok ng 2017, we have an event dito eh. Nagkita-kita kami uli ng executive team. Nakalimutan ko na kung anong event yun, pero nagkita-kita kami rito. And nakita ko na walang gumagalaw sa topic. Tumo. Lahat naghihintayan eh kung ano mangyayari. Eh sabi ko tayo, ano sabi ni Bishop Noel? Eh, wala pa rin naririnig. Tumo. And alam namin yung mga topic pastors, naghihintay sila kung anong action for 2017. So finally, say, oh sige, nag-meeting kami ulit, okay. Habang naghihintay si Bishop Noel, you know, I'll carry on. So, pinick up kule. But then, towards the end ng 2017, talagang naramdaman ko na, ah, it's time to go. So February 1, 2018, I sent another letter to Bishop Noel Pantoa. I said, effective February 1, I'm stepping down. And as I I think it's high time na a younger guy should take over. Kasi last September, I turned 72. So hindi na ako bata. Halata naman. Although akala nung iba, 71 and a half lang ako. <laughs> and then, narinig ko, you know, just a few months, uh, two or three months ago, na, na form na itong ano, summit na ito. And that uh, he would be taking over. Now, hindi ko alam po ano yung process na dinaanan nila kasi since then, I have not attended any uh, topic executive team meeting. Pag nung tina, pinadala ko yung letter, I had a final meeting with them and then I basically I said goodbye. So, pag hintay ka, dalan tayo. Now, I suggested to Bishop Noel you know, a few names among them, but wala talagang uh, tumanggap. So finally, numarinig ko na he was willing to carry on the task na tuwa ako ron. Now just to give you a short intro tungkol kay Hill. Now binanggit niya kahapon na more than once sinabi niya na sa akin ito eh. Na una niya ako nakita when I spoke in their uh, youth 
fellowship yata yun. Youth camp. Saan yun, Hill? Faith Academy. Alam niyo, hindi ko na matandaan yun. Hindi ko na matandaan yun. And sabi nga ni Hill, bata pa siya no. So, hindi ko alam kung ilan taong. Ilan taong ka nun, Hill? 18, 19, teenager ka pa? Talaga. Kasi si Hill ngayon, ilan taong ka na Hill ngayon? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But di ko na matanda dyan. But I remember, binanggit na din ni Hill ito kahapon, na he joined topic 2006. And natandaan ko noon, nung pinakilala siya sa akin, nagka-intera kami. Talaga nakita ko si Hill, ang passion niya for pastoral training. And uh, sa grupo namin, sa, sa aming anim, no? si Pastor Rolly, si Nathan, si Hill, si Herman, ako, plus yung dati naming missionary, si Harf, sa aming lahat, dalawa ang takbo ng takbo talaga. Yung palaging nasa kalsada. Si Pastor Nathan, tsaka si Hill. Oh, may mga gulong ang paan nila. Sabi, ano ito? Hindi ba napapagod ito? So I remember one time, sabi ko kay Hill, Hill, makailan mo na mag-slow down ka. Golden boy ka na. And then I shared with him one uh, statement na yung navigator mentor ko nung younger years ako, nung nakita ang takbo rin ako ng takbo, sinabihan ako. And ito sinabi niya sa akin. And ito hindi ko makakalimutan to kasi palagi ko sinasabi sa iba to eh. Pag napansin kong takbo ng takbo, sabi ko, eto yung sinabi sa akin ng navigator mentor ko. Sabi niya sa akin, you need to learn how to take your rest. Because if you do not take your rest, God will give you His rest. It's either rest in the hospital or rest in peace. <laughs> Now, ewan ko na balitaan nyo, ewan kong kailan na excited, ko na matandaan nyo, but just a few years ago, alam ko si Hill, no, in one of his many trips, bigla sa tumakbo sa heart center. Na maalaman ko yun, sabi ko, Hill, slow down ka na. But alam ko, no, na because of his passion, his commitment, his desire, his heart for pastors, talagang he's always full throttle. Pahirap siyang pigilin. So uh, I trust lahat tayo, no, as a Hill takes over, na you will be praying for him. Na somehow, kasi hindi na siya batay, senior na siya. Siya ako noon 53. Siya 60s na siya. Alam ko 60s na siya. 61, 62. Basta alam ko senior citizen na siya. So ma, ma, medyo late na siya. And the work has grown bigger. The work has grown bigger compared nung mag-umpisa ako. Noon zero pa eh. Ngayon malaki na. Mo. So, That's one item that to be praying for Pastor Hill. Now, I remember uh, this quotation no? in any endeavor like the ministry. There's no success without a successor. And I thank God na after many attempts, finally God raised up a successor in the person ni Pastor Hill. So, Pastor Hill, if you would come forward dito, please. Ayan. Okay, Hill, I just would like to share uh, the very words that uh, Moses gave to Joshua when uh, Moses was about to leave. Now, lahat tayo alam natin to. This is found in Deuteronomy chapter 31, starting with verse 7. Just two things dito na good for us to know, to hear, and be serve as a guide to be praying for, as we pray for Pastor Hill. Verse 7, Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with these people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be 
discouraged. Now, kahapon sa talk ni uh, Bishop Noel, no, he mentioned that uh, now, you know, we are facing the challenges of our times. These are unprecedented times. And uh, he enumerated it to us one by one. And one of the greatest ta challenges natin ngayon, of course, na binagid rin ni, ni Herman kanina, now what do you do, you know, when you have a false messiah like Kibuloy? Na tulad ng lumabas sa Facebook, sinabi ni Fernando po, sa akin ang tundo, sa iyo ang kabite, ang sabi ni Kibuloy, sa akin ang sanlibutan. <laughs> ah, eh, bro, eh, bro. And, uh, Marami tayong pinag-usapan na nangyayari ngayon sa, sa mga churches natin among our pastors. Well, ang sabi dito, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Very important yun, uh, uh, heal as you carry on the task. And it says again here, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. Ang reason doon is, ang sabi dito, the Lord Himself goes before you, He goes ahead, and will be with you. The assurance of God's presence. That's, these are words from Moses to Joshua. Very interesting, in Joshua chapter 1, God repeated the same thing. So let me just read that. Joshua chapter 1, starting with verse, uh, verse 5. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. And then the assurance of God's presence. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. And then again, be strong and very courageous. In verse 9, God again says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. These are words of exhortation, Hill, that I'd like to pass on to you as you carry on the task. Be strong, be courageous. God is with you. <clears throat> I'd like to call uh, the rest of the topic commission members, si Nixon, si Jason, Nathan, Herman, to join me, Lito, <clears throat> as I pass on this symbolic baton. Very colorful. <laughs> Pastor Hill. The green symbolizes growth and the pink color symbolizes love you know, as we were reminded uh, yesterday by uh, Bishop Noel <coughs> so he again in the words of Moses and again of the Lord Jesus of our God be strong and courageous as you lead topic Philippines in the coming years. Okay, Hill, would you like to uh, kneel down here so that we could be praying for you, uh, the rest of us? Okay, let's all stand up and extend our hand. And I'll call on uh, <coughs> uh, Herman, where's Herman and uh, Pastor Al? Where are you? Si Al na wala. Al, are you here? Okay, I'd like to ask si Pastor Al and then uh, Pastor Nathan uh, Herman to lead us in praying for uh, for uh, Hill as he takes on the leadership. So Al, would you guys please uh, lead us in prayer and then Herman will follow. Lord, we come to you this evening uh, with joyful hearts as we uh, see he'll take upon this new responsibility that you've given him. We pray that he would be uh, strong and courageous. 
We pray that each of us uh, would uh, support him, support him in prayer, support him with our lives. We pray that this uh, moment would be uh, a transforming moment in his life and his ministry, and that the future uh, would hold good things, things that would uh, encourage his heart, but also would strengthen the church, that we might see many men and women grow in their faith, become strong leaders, become pastoral trainers because of his response to your calling. So we thank you, Lord, that you've led him to do this, and we thank you that you will be with him always. In Jesus' name. Yes, Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing. You will bless Pastor Hill with good health. Yes. You will give him wisdom. Amen. When to say yes and when to say no. Oh, yes. When to go and not to go. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will provide everything that he and his family needs. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will lead him to people who are committed to support this ministry. Yes. And I pray that you will give him a way to present this ministry in such a way that people will be encouraged to participate in what you are doing. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will protect his sex life in his relationship with others. I pray that you will maintain his intimacy with Emma, Ems. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue, Lord, to deepen their love for each other. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you will guard his heart from many temptations that come along the way. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will bless him in such a way that when he reads the word of God, you will speak to him in a very intimate way. I pray that he will be given all that is necessary to share, to encourage and to inspire pastors. Lord, we are so grateful for the way Pastor Hill responded in such a time as this. I pray, O oh Lord, that we will be supporting him. That we will be with and behind him. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will be glorified in his life. Thank you, O oh Lord. In, that he will be our next leader. Who will lead us to the next challenge of training of pastors. In Jesus' name, amen. We just would like to come together. We'd like to ask the. You may please take your seats. Uh, we'd like to ask the the pastors of Sibap who are here uh, to come forward. Um, we just would like to take this opportunity to commend. No, mijo. Pasensya na ka kaya naban kaya nang konte. Lahat ng mga Sibap pastors, will you please uh, come and join? No. <clears throat> Sometimes, kasi. Uh, ang mga national leaders, yung mga nasa key positions, they occupy a very special role or a special position. Pagkatapos, yung kanilang mga denominations, parang walang masyadong pakialam. You are there on your own personally. But at this point, we would like to take this opportunity together as a Sibap family to commend our brother uh, Pastor Hill, and uh, we are we are affirming to you our support. Yeah. No, in fact, uh, ito mahal tong uh, binili namin to, pero uh, this is just our our a symbol of how much uh, we have valued you as a fellow minister. So, so natin to. Uh, yan, yan. Uh, para just our way of saying um, we are with you. We recognize God's call for you on this special ministry. And uh, sometimes it can be a very lonely place up there in the leadership. We know that the Lord will always be with you. And we will back you up in prayer if uh, there will be a need for us to, to help you in any way. As God enables us, we will also be there to support you. So together with my fellow CBAP leaders here, we would like to commend you 
to this new leadership position and we will be praying for you. So, palakpakan lang natin ang ating uh, new uh, leaders that topic. Thank you very much. Okay. As part of our uh, expression to support the leadership of Pastor Hill Baligdasay of the uh, topic ministry, pastoral training ministry, we thought of uh, showing that support by uh, taking a special offering tonight and uh, giving him a seed fund to start with. So, uh, you now if you could reach out to your pockets, and as uh, the Lord leads you, uh, we'll pray, and then uh, you can give your part you know, in raising up the seed fund that uh, we will be using for the topic ministry. Okay, let's just pray. Father, indeed, we rejoice that you are the God who exalts one and humbles the other. You are the God who promotes those who humble themselves before you. And we want to thank you for the life of Pastor Hill, his humility and his love for you, and his willingness to lead the work to which you've called all of us to the training of many pastors. And our Lord, as an expression of our support for his leadership, receive these gifts, this special offering, so that he may have the funds that he needs to get the ministry going in the days ahead. So bless this fund, O oh God. Bless this offering for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sige po. Uh, just come forward. Do. Be the glory to God. this is a momentous moment to see that what has started 20 years ago continues on. But there is nothing to continue unless there is one great person who has started it. And we know that. We have been blessed uh, ministry na pinakita sa atin ni Philip. 
I, I remember actually when the second meeting of the executive or the team that was formed after the, the gathering, Philip was talking to me because I was finishing my term from InterVarsity and he was asking me to take the leadership. And I said, no. And so he took it and that 18 years, uh, 18 years. Uh, we have met, and Philip and I have started our journey together when we were still students. He was a uh, student leader and young staff from uh, of the Navigator uh, while I was from InterVarsity, and we have journeyed together. And one of my meaningful moment uh, in our leadership together, he was the national director of the Navigator, and I was the general secretary of InterVarsity. He called a meeting with me and uh, Jody Paharon of Campus Crusade. Every morning, once a month, we were meeting. We were having breakfast. And there is only one rule. Let's us not talk about our ministry. Let's talk about our life. Let's talk about our prayers, our hopes, our struggles. And I could not forget that because that has been very instrumental in shaping my direction and uh, and it's so it's so privilege for me to be working with philip with topic no i did not anticipate that you know god has a way of bringing us together and one thing that i have enjoyed in topic is just we are friends we're just working together and uh, of course uh, Sometimes it's difficult. Uh, one of the things that we have in topic uh, team that uh, Philip in his leadership done is meron kami tinatawag na family talk. So when someone comes to you and puts his shoulder around you, you know that is family talk. And that is a very awkward, very moment that, you know, there's something that this person will have to do you talk to you or the whole team will have to talk to you so papawisan ka po ng malapot it's like being crucified when jesus christ was hung, uh, was really praying yung yung sweat mo is like drop of blood and he'll pass through that he'll remember that and i'm sure that has really shaped and prepared him in this leadership and uh, so i'm sure all of us have been blessed the ministry in Philip, and this time we would like to recognize that ministry. So, Philip, we would like to read this to you. Uh, Dr. Philip C. Flores, in honor of his years of service as National Director of Topic trainers of pastoral pastors international coalition philippines from 1999 to 2018 and for his invaluable contribution to the body of christ through developing and mentoring a new generation of pastoral leaders his life is a great inspiration to many pastoral leaders who seek to live and lead like the lord jesus Given this 23rd day of October 2018, during the Global Proclamation of G Pro Pastoral Trainers Summit of the, at the Christian Development Center, Tagaytay City, signed Bishop Noel Pantoja and Rich, uh, Rames Richard. Tawagin natin ang ating topic uh, commission team and Al, could you could you come please up here, brother Al, and uh, join us here in prayer. Let's ask uh, yung pinaka matanda sa amin si Nathan. Tika, pag pray mo si Kuya Philip. Can we just uh, can we just stand? Uh, and just extend your right hand of fellowship.
Dakilang Diyos, aming Ama, bilang mga magkakapatid, magkakamanggagawa, lubos pong aming pasasalamat sa pangunguna ng aming Kuya Philip. Maraming salamat sa buhay niya na ibinigay mo, sa karapatang mga siwa, sa kaalaman, sa karunungan, sa katatagan. Maraming salamat sa pananampalatay at halimbawa na kanyang ipinamala sa amin. Maraming salamat na ang kanyang tinahak, bagamat hindi pa niya na dadaanan noon, pinangunahan niya kami at kami po ay nagpapasalamat sapagkat ang kanyang pangunguna ay nagbunga ng bagong kalakasan at katapangan sa bawat isa sa amin na siya rin na aming pinapasa ngayon sa aming mga kapatiran. Maraming salamat sa mga kamanggagawang kanya ring na tulungan at turuan. Maraming salamat sa maraming mga kaluluwang kanyang nadala sa iyo. Hindi man niya kilala ang marami, ngunit sila'y natuto dahil sa kanyang mga panunulat, sa kanyang mga pagsasalita at higit sa lahat sa kwentong naririnig tungkol sa kanya na mayroong isang lalaking tinawag ng Diyos at naglingkod ng matapat. At kami patuloy na nananalangin sa kanya para sa iyo. Kuya Philip, Lord, ibigay mo sa kanya ang handang pagtanggap pagdating ng panahon na siya harap sa iyo. At sasabihin mo, halika, tapat, at masipag na lingkod. Anihin mo ang kagalakan ng iyong Panginoon. Father, we thank you for giving us a Kuya Philip. Thank you that we were born in the same generation so that we can enjoy the time of fellowship and be prepared to pass on the baton to the next generation after us. Thank you, Lord, for topic. Thank you for mentoring. Thank you for the joy that you will always be with us and you will never leave us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Meron tayong short video na mapapanood yung taken kahapon sa ngayon. And then, pag lumabas tayo, meron tayong celebration sa labas. No? Managantay sa atin. Hundred twenty thousand in the year uh, uh, 2020, and uh, uh, I believe, and uh, as as data comes in every day, we believe we're going to overshoot that number uh, for God's glory. Praise the Lord. Yung competence mo, natututunan mo yan sa community. If you have teachers in the community, you learn that in community. And your commitment to Christ is also learned in community. Nakikita yung kapatiran ko, ang galing, ang ganda ng commitment niya. I'm also blessed, I want to emulate him. That's what I'm saying in a practical sense. Community is where you can see all of this in action. Yun ang point ko lang. You, you express all of this in action in a community. That's why you're forcing, you have to be in community. We are brothers. We are brothers by blood. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are brothers by baptism where He has baptized us in the body of Christ by the Holy Spirit of God. We are brothers because we are part of the same body.